Hello everybody, this is Kyrex with another edition of This Week in Kyrex. Today is Wednesday, January, no, February 10th of 2016, which it actually isn't. It's actually Thursday the 11th, but I do these on Wednesdays, so it's Wednesday for the purposes of this. <sighs> been one of those weeks. Um, I'm supposed to go to a Star Trek tournament on Saturday. Okay, so I'm staying late. Anyway, um, so, Friday night, you know, I'm, I'm sleeping, I'm up real early, you know, or real late, sleeping, not sleeping when I'm supposed to, that kind of thing. Um, And, uh, let me just check a thing real quick here. So, I get up at about 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, like I'm supposed to. Well, I'm supposed to get up at 8. I get up at 9 because I slept in. Because I didn't fucking sleep. Because I'm an idiot that way. Real bad at things like that. Anyway, I, uh... How do I even say this? Um, I gotta put all my stuff together because like an idiot, I didn't do that early enough. So I checked the bus schedule and the bus is going to be here at like 9.54. It's like 9.46. There's no way, even if I had this stuff instantly, that I'd get to the bus in time. So I look at the other bus. I'm like, oh, I can catch the 19 down to here get on the 50, I want to say the 59 or whatever, you know, and be on my way. Well, I do that. I get to the 19 in time, get on the bus, takes me down to where I'm supposed to be, wait there for like a half an hour for the bus. Now, what I didn't realize is there's a 58 and a 59 there, and one goes the way I want to go, and one does not. Take a guess which one I got on. <clears throat> Now, when I get on the bus, I don't really pay attention until I get close to my stop. <clears throat> and that's where trouble struck. As soon as I seen that I turned around, I could have gotten off the fucking bus. But no, I didn't notice until I was basically back near an area where I could literally get back on the 19. Because it was sitting right in front of us, because it was one of those scheduled stop places. So I basically called them and said, yeah, I'm not making Star Trek. And I got off, got on the bus, went home. Which would have been fine, however... You can do that. Anyway, however, it would have been real fucking nice if instead I had managed to, um... God, what, what's even the fucking word? What is even the goddamn word? Uh, if I had done this without having to fucking waste five bucks for a bus pass. Am I not here yet? So yeah, if I had managed to uh, get all this shit done without having to... Um, Waste five bucks, that would have been fine. Because I had no issue staying home and not going to Star Trek. Because I was actually thinking about it anyway. Because the guy who runs the store has been doing some kind of skeezy things that I'm not particularly fond of. And it's just kind of a thing. So, Monday rolls around. My friend, the Heroclix Judge, comes by. Because he's like, hey, I'm in the neighborhood. You want to hang out for a bit? I'm like, yeah, sure, we'll hang out. Uh, we go up to GameStop, we look at some games. He actually bought me a game, uh, DSX Human Revolution, which I kind of own. I got it free on PlayStation Plus, but since I don't currently have PlayStation Plus, I don't have access to it. So he just bought it from me for like two bucks. Not a big deal. I mean, it's, uh, when I say not a big deal, I mean it wasn't a big deal for him to buy it, but it was uh, kind of a big deal for him to get it for me. It'll be a while till I get around to it, but at least I'm going to get around to it. 
Oh cool, he's taking care of his own fucking needs. Congratulations me. Um Let's see on top of that. Uh then we went to Golden Corral, actually. And uh by the way, very funny to see Kisa jump out of a car there, because Kisa does not like cars, or he did not like cars. But uh, anyway, we go to Golden Corral. And I told him, you know, I'm I, I'm I, I'm kind of upset with myself for not eating very much. He's like, dude, you ate two pieces of chicken, like seven little hamburgers, and some corn. I'm like, yeah, and uh, like three plates of French fries. I'm like, yeah, but that's not very much because I'm at a fucking buffet, you know. You go to a buffet, you're supposed to stuff your goddamn head. It's how that works. <clears throat> Wait, wasn't there some dishes I was supposed to do? I'm gonna come back home now. Cause I remember that it being kinda weird that there's dishes at a fucking journalism place. Oh no, never mind. Anyway, um <clears throat> Found out Winkles is toilet trained, but I'll get into that in a minute. So yeah, we go down to Golden Corral, and I, I had a thing in the mail to potentially get a four thousand up to four thousand dollar loan, you know, which would have been the best thing because that would have literally tanked every goddamn bill I have. And uh, I had him take me up there, and just as we all thought. The answer was no, I don't qualify because I've got too many bills hanging in the air right now. Though they did say if I can get some of those at least caught up, if not paid out, I can go there and talk to them again about getting the loan, etc. So yeah, Winkles. Other day, uh, I see Winkles in... Th there was this old ramen box. Like, have you ever seen a 12-pack of ramen? There's an old box of it. And uh, Rio liked to sleep in it back in the day. She hasn't in ages, not since the other two really moved into the room. But I caught Winkles peeing in it. Like, using it like a litter box. Which, hey, it's a box, and it's not, you know, my clothes. So go for it. So I'm like, well, I guess I better clean you girls' box. So I clean the box, and I've got the bathroom door open because I'm letting Betsy out for a bit. And Betsy's actually out right now. She's sitting here at my feet. Well... On the footrest, which is actually kind of at my right side now, because of how I'm sitting. <laughs> anyway, I hear a noise, and I turn around, and here's Winkle sitting on the toilet with her butt over the bowl, just spraying poo. Cause she she's kind of a liquid pooer, you know. She leaves like pile, puddle piles, not like solid chunks like most of the girls. I have no idea why, but she's done that pretty much since she got here. It's kind of a thing. But all I could do is just sit there and say, good girl, because really, how else do you react to the fact that your cat is toilet trained? That's the best thing. <clears throat> if I could get the others to do that, I would never have to spend money on litter again. That would be the best. But, um, yeah, um, so, okay, Monday rolls around. Like I said, it's Monday, I come home, I'm kind of tired. Monday is D&D &D night. So I get a call from Anubis at 6.40. D&D &D starts at 7. He's like, hey man, you gonna make it? I'm like, no, I'm not gonna make it. Why didn't you call me? I, I forgot. I'm like, yeah, so did I. It takes me about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes to fucking walk there. So yeah, I miss D&D. &D. Keep in mind, I've already paid for the month. Basically paid 12 bucks. Which is fine as long as I play six games or more. Then I make my money back. So, miss that. So, Tuesday rolls around. Clicks day. I've got my team ready. I spent a lot of the night, you know, gathering everybody up. Friggin' judge never shows up, so the game never happens. It's been a fucking week. I haven't been able to do any gaming shit at all. I'm actually half tempted to, to wander my ass up to the game store today and maybe play some DBZ, but I'm not going to because... I recently ordered a bunch of new cards to make my deck with, and they haven't arrived yet, and I don't want to go without my deck. You know, without my completed, this is my deck deck. 
So I'm not gonna. Besides which, the, uh, the DBZ tournaments cost a lot more money. They cost five bucks, so they're not covered under my, uh, special time. My, uh, prepaid time. So. Suppose I can buy a thing worth a hundred bucks. What's worth a hundred bucks? Send some fucking lawn gnomes in my future. For those who don't know, um, I discovered when I was playing The Sims Bustin' Out that uh, lawn gnomes are an absolute fucking substitute for having an actual job. Because if you make lawn gnomes, you can just get all the money you goddamn need forever. Let's go with some blue lights. No, I don't like how those look. Oh, there's gotta be a light in here I like. No, don't want the kid light. Wall lights suck. I will do this. Let's go with the wall lights. There, that'll help the room aesthetic. Anyway, um. Yeah, the DBZ games aren't counted as part of my free gaming. Basically, anything that's like two bucks or so, any kind of RPG, <clears throat> some card games, whatever, I can just show up and play with no money changing hands kind of thing. Kitty cat needs a hug. Kitty cat can have a hug. Oh, now the kitty doesn't want a hug. Okay, I see how this works. Sure, we'll make a sci-fi novel. Sure, Warp Factor Infinity. That sounds like a cool, cool title. Anyway, um... So yeah, it's just kind of been a thing. Where's Winkles? Let's, uh... Give Winkles a little dose of happy. She's a good girl. She deserves some happiness. Eat food. Use litter box. Scratch post. make her a happy kitty. Anyway, um, been working on Sick Code and I'm up like 11 episodes. You know, I've got to find some time to do Metal Gear again, obviously. Been doing some things, calling some places. I got to maybe get out today and job hunt a little bit. Don't necessarily want to, but I kind of sort of fucking have to. That kind of thing. And anyway, we'll, we'll see how that works out for me. Yeah, 
There, those will just all kind of help each other out a little bit. I want to point out that him sitting on the computer with four cats around him, that's literally what I'm doing right now. Because I've got Oreo up on the, the head of the couch, Willow's across from me on the TV, Winkles is over on the other side of the room, Betsy's right here next to me, friggin' Maya's pounding on the door. For whatever reason, I, I don't even... I've given up trying to figure out how that Chihuahua's brain operates. I'm <clears throat> much happier for it. You know, it's just one of those things. But, um... Yeah, today's, today's update's a little sparse. There's not a whole lot going on that I can really do anything with. Kind of a thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blast myself real quick here. Blast myself with a little sunshine up the butt. Little bit of butt flavored sunshine. It's barely enough to even make an impact right there. There's a better one I can get later. Pump it up. By the way, these powers here are almost exclusively what I use karma powers for. It's just boosting up my stats so that I don't actually have to deal with it. There's also a version of this that does it for the whole house. There's a version that basically maxes out all your stats. There are also superpowers I can get, now that I think about it. Um, I gotta remember how those work, though. You okay? You alright, Betsy? <clears throat> Lifetime rewards, yeah. <clears throat> Can't really afford any of these right now, but... Like this one right here makes it so that you never need to use the toilet again. Oh, I'm sorry, Betsy. I accidentally shook her off the couch. It's okay, baby. Relax. Don't. Okay, good girls. Hey! Don't you start any fights now. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff here. Like, uh, this one, you don't need to sleep as much, you know. This one you almost never need to eat. It basically turns off certain meters. Like your bladder meter will never drop if you've got that iron bladder trick going on. And incidentally, if you complete your lifetime thing, it will just tech you out like nobody's business. Rio! Hey. Rio, break eye contact. You don't need to be messing with her. Hey. Look at me. Don't look at... She's just kind of glaring at Betsy. I don't know if she's going to try anything, but... In that case, the first thing to do is break up the eye contact. Break the focus. Did I just crash my... Oh, no. They're fighting for whatever reason. But said, I just crashed my goddamn hard drive. What are you girls fighting over? By the way, I want to see something here. Of course it's Willow and Winkles. Those two are always fighting in actuality in my room. Willow just wants to socialize with her and Winkles just ain't fucking having it. That's pretty true to life, actually. The sad fact is, none of the pets except the dog really like Willow. And I don't know why. She's such a sweet girl. <clears throat> and the dog kind of annoys Willow, but she plays with her anyway. Because Willow's a fucking sweetheart. Oh, they're sleeping. By the way, see how the cats are all asleep? If you've ever owned cats, this is really a thing. 
at any given time, I can look around the room and there's anywhere from one to three of my cats asleep. And that's including times like this when Betsy's in the room and there's actually four of them. You know, if I really hated myself, I'd open the door and let Maya in here too and just be covered in all my animals. I do love my cats, though, and my dog. I love my girls. They're good babies. You know, after seeing Markiplier play a little bit of Sims 4, I'm kind of hoping they have a, a PS3 version of that soon. Because I don't want to deal with the computer versions. I don't. I keep hearing too much crap about EA games and the stupid shit they do. And having to buy 60,000 different versions of The Sims and install them all and buy DLC. and just It's too much fucking hassle. I'd rather buy a single game and just deal with what's on that. You know? Bowl still got food in it, I think so. Yeah, that's nice. Don't care. Just about finished with my book, book, book. Yeah, I don't have enough points. Where's Winkles? Where did my Winky go? Winkles! Winkles, what the hell are you doing? There we go. Friendly. Play. Sure, just because it's a thing I can do. I don't think that's necessarily a romantic action. Cats nuzzle each other all the time. You know? Close. That's absolutely a Kisa thing right there, is the groom himself. He fucking lives to do that shit. Oh, I guess I better stop my novel. Alright, let, let's send me to work in a good mood. Well, a better mood. You know, since I refuse to allow myself to fucking sleep. Aww. See, I hate the way friendships are handled here. Oh, you haven't talked to this person in a day. You're not friends anymore. I just called... <clears throat> One of my friends that moved recently, she used to play at Clicks with us and all that other fun shit. I haven't talked to her in close to a month, and we're still friends, you know? Hell, I called up my other friend, who I was the best man at his wedding yesterday, and we chatted for a bit. I haven't talked to him in weeks, you know? Sometimes you just don't talk to a person for a while because shit comes up. Watched Attack on Titan again. Actually, to be more specific, I watched quite a bit of Attack on Titan. 
and then I watched my blind react to Attack on Titan. Partly to proofread, because I'm sitting here thinking, oh, I probably said something I don't want in there, you know. No, it's all pretty good. I'm actually pretty pleased with it. And the funny thing is, I do not, as a rule, watch my own videos. I just don't. It's not that I don't particularly care for them, it's just that I watched it when I made it, you know? <clears throat> but, uh... You having fun up there, Betsy? I feel so bad for her. She's been in the bathroom for weeks now because I don't know if she has, like, a skin thing because she keeps... Oh, what's the word? Um, She has, like, kind of like a scab set up, you know, where, like, I will... How do I even say? She has, um, like she'll have scabs, what it feels like, or bumps on her neck and her head. And I'll brush them away and she'll get them again. For a while, I thought it might be mange. I don't think it is anymore because she's not getting the patchiness. And in fact, her fur is actually growing back. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. I'm going to chalk it up to allergies or something. But I didn't want the other girls to get it. So I kept her more isolated. than I kept her isolated longer than I otherwise would have. But now she's out, and I'm going to start integrating her into the room with the rest of the girls. And uh, it's actually going really well, partly because there are already so many cats here that they're used to having new cats. And I don't want to make it sound like this is, place is crawling with cats. I have three, four now with Betsy, and Mom has one, you know. I also want to point out, I didn't set out to get any of them. Uh, Honey was a K. I, I moved in with Kisa, and he died in October. Um, my niece saw Honey as a stray, like, oh, can we bring her in? It's it's bad for her out there, etc. You know, I mean, she's eating out of bags and all that. So we brought Honey in. Then she found Oreo and brought her in. Then my friend was homeless, and she still is homeless. And she was talking about how someone was watching one of her cats, that cat being Winkles, and how she just was telling her, you need to come get your cat, but wouldn't tell her where, and she turned her into the fucking animal shelter. So she's like, oh, can you get her out for me? So I went with her, and uh, she paid for the adoption, but I adopted her, because I have... Fortunately for her, Kisa and Oreo were at the vet a lot. Like, not a lot, but I mean, like, Kisa had a vet history. He had... I actually brought in his paperwork saying, hey, this is the last time I had him at the vet, or whatever, you know? Or I brought in Oreos, because Kisa had just died, but I said, hey... This is the paperwork for the cat I currently have, you know. This is the paperwork for the cat I did have until he died. And so on. So, the adoption went off without a hitch. And, uh... On top of that... When I moved aside from Winkles' cage so that my friend could see her... There was this frisky little white cat in the cell... Cell? The cage next to her who just literally reached out and grabbed me. Like, hey, hey, person, you're going to be my person, right? And she just kept pulling at me through the bar. I couldn't leave her there. So that's how I got Willow and Winkles. Then uh, John and I were walking to Circle K on New Year's Eve, and we saw this little white chihuahua just strutting down the street. We thought it was a neighbor's chihuahua, a certain neighbor. And I chased the chihuahua down and grabbed it and brought it in and all that. Turns out, not his chihuahua. But, uh, I ended up holding on to her, and, uh, actually, this month, as of the 3rd, when I went to pay my rent, the management, or, not necessarily the management, but the girls in the office of the management, basically told me, yeah, <coughs> yeah, we talked to the owner, and they were having issues with the dog, so they said, <coughs> since, as long as she's in a good home, she can stay there. So, she's my dog now. And as for Betsy, I found her near the house, literally starving to death, so I had to bring her in. Hold on. Why are you so stressed? Why are you hungry? Okay, you're hungry because you're kind of stupid. I love Willow, but that's kind of true to how she works. She really is kind of like that. Mm. 
Nope, sorry Willow, you're gonna fucking play. It literally sounds like he just said honey. So, it's, uh, it's kind of been an eventful week. But, uh... Actually, we're gonna wait for him to go lay down first. And we are actually gonna call it here. See you next time, everyone. Bye bye.